What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw and color shadow from Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of our page with the nodes. We're gonna start right in the middle with an oval. So we go all the way around and back up towards the top. Let's add a small highlight oval on the top of the nose and it'll fill in the bottom. Now from here, we're gonna wrap the muzzle around the nose. Let's start on the left side. Start with the curve going out and then down. Do the same thing on the right. Now I just wanna bend this back up towards the corners of the muzzle. Let's round out the ends, pulling this back in. And we'll close off the bottom of the head, starting over on the left, bring this down in the middle and then bend that back up on the right. Now you want to shift the mouth over towards the left side. So starting up here, start with the curve going across, bend that down, and add a bracket on the left side. Now from here, we're going to draw the top edge of the brow, just up above the nose, draw a curve, coming down, and then up. Now on the left side, bend this out and up, and bend that back out towards the left. Do the same thing on the right. Going out and then up. Just bend that out towards the end. Let's round up the side of the eyes. Starting back on the left, curve this out and bend that in on top of the muzzle. Let's add a trim along the top of the eye. Starting on the left, round this out and then come down. And I'll draw two ovals on the inside of the eye. Let's start over on the left, and down towards the bottom, and then back up. Let's go over towards the right side and do the same thing. Let's trace the iris along the inside. And I'll add a small highlight along the bottom. Let's curve this in and then down and we'll fill in the top of the pupils. Now from here, we're gonna move up and draw in the ears. From this point, let's step up, curve the outside of the ear, going out, and then up. Bend this in, and then down. Let's do the same thing over on the right. Above this point, curve this out, and then up towards the same height. And bend this in, and then down. Let's trace the ears along the side. So start with the left, going up, and bend this in. Now to connect these two lines with a curve, going up and then across. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now I'm gonna close off the right side of the head. Start from the base of the ear, curve this around, come down, and then in towards the bottom. Let's add a small fold on the left side, going out and then up. Now we want to move up to the top and draw on that first spike. Let's start from the inside of the left ear, curve this up, bend that out toward the left. I'm just going to curve this around and just bring this down on top of the right ear. Let's add two large spikes along the side of the head. Start from the left side of the ear, curve this down, and then bend that up. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. Just bring this back in towards the side of the head. Come down and just bend that in. I'm just going to leave a gap along the side of the head. Come down and in on the right side. Again, leaving a gap. Let's add one more spike along the bottom. Starting back on the left, curve this down and then out. And we'll pull this back in underneath the head. Come down, and then up. Let's add in that large center stripe. Start from the tip, curve this around, come down on the inside of the left ear, and we'll just bend that in towards the center of the forehead. 
Now we're gonna pull that back up towards the top. Then this out towards the right. Come around and then up towards the top. Let's add another stripe across the top. Starting from the tip, just taper this down and then in behind the ear. And now that we complete the head, let's move down and draw that fur across the center of the body. Just underneath the chin in the middle, start with a point. Then it's up and out toward the left underneath the head. Do the same thing on the right. Now I just want to pull this back down to create a point. Let's add a few more points along the outside. Bend this out. And then bring that back in. Let's add another one. Going straight out towards the side. And we'll just curve this down and then in. Let's add one smaller point along the bottom. Bend this in towards the middle, leaving a gap. And we'll just bend that down towards the center. Now from here, we're gonna draw the left arm on top of the body. Let's we'll start underneath the head, put this out, and then down towards the wrist. And then from the bottom, we're we'll gonna step in, just follow that same curve, going up and then in. Let's round out the back. From the top of the arm, step down, put this in, and then down towards the hip. Let's go all the way over towards the right side, underneath the head, we're gonna curve the body going out, Bring this down and then cross towards the left. Now you want to take the same arm and flip it over on the right side in behind the body. So start from the top, bend this out and then down towards the same height. Now I'm going to step in, just follow this all the way down towards the bottom. Let's extend the left leg down towards the bottom. Starting from the hip, draw a straight line, come all the way down towards the ankle. Go to the inside, we're gonna create a little overlap. Just follow that angle line coming all the way down towards the bottom. Let's leave the gap, step over towards the right, bend the right leg going out, and then down towards the ankle. Step out and do that again. Now you wanna wrap the cuff around the ankle. So starting on the left, we're gonna step out. I'm just gonna bend this down and up on both sides. Go back to the left side, step up, then it's out, and then down. From the outside of the cuff, draw two straight lines coming down. And we'll close off the bottom with a curve. Let's add the tongue of the shoe, starting from the left side. Bend this around and then down towards the side of the cup. And then from the center, put this out and then down. Let's add that large gold ring around the ankles. Starting over on the left, we're going to draw a bracket. And then we'll close off the bottom with that same curve along the top. Let's draw the left foot pointing forward. From the bottom of that ring on either side, I'm just gonna bend the foot going out and then down towards the bottom. From the bottom, draw a straight line coming in. Go up and in with an angle. And then we'll close off the top. Let's add a half circle in the center. Trace that out along the inside fill in the middle. Let's add that thick trim along the bottom of the foot. Starting on the left, draw a straight line going across, angle this down towards the side, and we'll bend this out and up towards the side of the foot. Now we're going to move over and draw the inside of the right foot. Let's we'll start from the left side of that ring, put this out and then down towards the heel, draw a straight line going across, Go up with a short line, and we'll angle this down towards the bottom. Let's draw a straight line going out towards the end of the foot, angle this up towards the top, 
Now I'm gonna go back to the ring, just cut the foot going across and then down. Let's add that thick trim along the bottom of the foot. From this point, start by going out and up toward the left, towards the heel. Go back to that point, draw a straight line going out towards the right. And we'll angle this up towards the top of the foot. Let's go back to this point, curve this up, and then out underneath the ring. Let's go back up and finish off the hands. We'll start with a curve going across the bottom of the arms. And then from the end, draw two straight lines coming down. Let's close off the bottom with that same curve. And we'll split the cuff in half with a straight line. Now just like we did with the ankles, we're gonna add a ring around the wrist. Let's start from the bottom corners with a bracket. And we'll connect the bottom with that same curve that we have along the top. Let's add two fists on either side. Starting from the inside of that ring, start with a half circle coming in and out for the thumb. And add a bracket on the end. And then we'll wrap three fingers around on either side. Let's start from the bottom of the thumb and come down and bend that up around that bracket. Step down, curve down, and then up. And we'll add one more finger on the outside, going out, and just pull that up on the left side of the ring. Now at the bottom place, we're gonna layer the fin and the tail in behind. Let's start from the top of the arm. So go out, around the arm, and then down. And we just wanna pull this back in towards the side of the body, going in behind the arm, continue along the inside, and then bring that down. Let's add the tail. From the hip, we step up, put this down and out, and just taper that back in. And now we're gonna grab some markers and I'll show you how to color this in. Let's start with a bright red and fill in that center stripe across the head. We'll also fill those points across the top of the eyes and then the outside of the iris. And we'll fill in the outside of the cuff. And in the front of the shoe tongue. And moving down toward the bottom trim of the shoe. And we'll grab our yellow and fill in those rings. I'm going to use a light skin tone across the inside of the ears and then filling the inside of the muzzle. Now I want to add a little bit of shape to the white areas, so add a shadow on the right side and the bottom. And then the left side on the right. Then we'll add a light shadow across the top of the eyes. And then going in with our darkest gray, we'll fill in the rest of the body. Grab our black and fill the outside of the cuff. Also the cuff around the wrist. And the inside of the right heel.
And as we get near the end, we'll sign our artwork. And I'm also using a white Posca pen to add some highlights to the rings. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw and color Shadow from Sonic the Hedgehog. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.